All right, so I am at my family's property just outside of Logan, Ohio, 116 acres of paradise. So anyway, I got thinking, especially here in the Midwest, pretty much every family here has a bayonet. So a quick rundown on the history of bayonets. Bayonets were issued at around the beginning of the 19th century to uh, infantry troops so that they could protect themselves against, you know, cavalry, charging infantry, that kind of thing. What it did was it extends the rifle's range and basically makes it a short pike. Um... And, you know, because, you know, blades work better on horses and don't have to be reloaded, they were, uh, eventually they were realized that, hey, we could charge with these things after we fire our shots and still kill the other guy. So anyway, as time went on, uh, you start seeing things like the sawback bayonet and the sh spade bayonet and, you know, the more modern AKM bayonet uh, of Soviet vintage. Well, this one isn't one of those multi-purpose bayonets. This one is a simple blade, uh, 1957 Swiss double-edged bayonet. Now this one, uh, or at least this style of bayonet, goes to a uh, SIG SG-510 series rifle in Swiss use from 1957 and 1990. Um, and the SIG is also known as a Sturmgewehr 57 and an STG-57 for short. So anyway, it's a nine and a half inch blade, uh, 14 and a half inches overall, the bayonet is, and then the scabbard, it's plastic with a leather, I'm going to call it a frog, and then uh, the scabbard is actually separate from this. Uh, there's a little flap here with a little mushroom shaped uh, metal piece that secures the scabbard to the frog. But anyway, um... This bayonet, Swiss, 1957, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you know, you have the ring for the muzzle and then the hole for the bayonet lug. Um, but one thing I find interesting about bayonets is that they're no longer really used in combat anymore. The last combat bayonet charge was in Korea, the Korean War. Um, and even then, like, it hadn't been used for decades before that. Um, so... Anyway, uh, the bayonet is still around, mainly for training purposes and increased morale and aggression, and more than likely, uh, it's a fighting knife, essentially what it boils down to. Like the Marine Corps, they have their K-bars, you know, and the Army, pretty much everybody else, Americans, have an M7 bayonet. So, anyway, um, it's a bayonet. You know, simple as that. It's a big knife. I like big knives. And, yeah. Anyway, like, subscribe, and offer any suggestions you have in the comments below. Thanks.